The refreeze reacts as Naira hits 710 Naira per dollar. Calls out at Debuye. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel to get notified when we post hot juicy news update. Please click on the notification bell. Media personality that the freeze has reacted to the free fall of the Nigerian Naira against the dollar. News understand that the exchange rates between the Naira and the US dollar fell beyond the 710 Naira per dollar threshold at the black market on Wednesday afternoon. Reacting to the development, Gary Free shared a tweet made in 2016 from the General Overseer of Redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor Enoch Adeboye. The clergyman had written, Either the IMF likes it or not, I decree the Naira will rise again. Hashtag arresting the arrestor. Attaching, to, attaching this tweet to his Instagram post today, that a freeze wrote, Naramali will definitely rise again. All he needs is a new single. Why does the Naira keep depreciating? According to a senator lecturer of economics at the Pan Atlantic University, Dr. Olalekon Aworidi, the Naira keeps depreciating because the demand is not as high as expected. Speaking during an interview with Punch, a worry they said the depreciation of a new of the currency is something that is not new. Over time, we have seen the naira depreciate constantly. Hardly do we witness the depreciation of the naira. This is not far fetched. The naira keeps depreciating because the demand for the naira is not as high as expected. This is coupled with the fact that there is also a lot of food inflation in the country. We do not produce anything that will make people demand for the naira. If Nigeria was producing something, then the implication is that a lot of people might need to demand for the Naira. But we do not produce anything of value. We only produce raw materials and semi-finished goods that are of lesser value. The Naira is not in demand and this is why it keeps depreciating. The implication of this is that we will we'll be consuming imported goods and the majority of these goods might be might be imported inflation and as such it will bring an increase in the services of goods and the prices of goods and services over time. The Naira will continue to depreciate unless the government does something in terms of the manufacturing sector of the country and the provision of infrastructure among which is stable power supply. Without a stable power supply the cost of production will be over the roof. Now let me say this. Let me say this again. You see, now this particular news article have shed more light why we need to, why Nigeria need to go from consumption to production. I think I see where one particular presidential candidate is coming from. So the Naira will keep falling else or um, um, unless there is actually demand for it. And how do we do create demand for the Naira? Nigeria has to have something of value to offer. Something that will make people to even demand, eh, hey, how much for this thing save for Naira save go so that I go feel pay. You understand me? So I can now understand where somebody, I'm not an economist though, <laughs> but I'm thinking in that direction that so that is why he's always hammering on, you know, it is going to do a lot. Okay. So the thing is, even in this our contrast with this, so down to the toothpick we use, down to the biro like the pen used in schools and offices, you see that they're important. It is, it is econized. Econized, Rara. What are we saying? Even our locally made products here, you see locally made maybe slips, slip on, sandals, shoes, people do not buy. They have this mentality that it will not last. You see, even the one where they produce here, yeah. people go, go into production and, you know, People who have this mentality of na Nigeria made for that reason, you know, will last well. We have to kill that mentality. We have to grow from being an economy of consumption to an economy of production for us to have an increase in demand of a Naira, which is going to help us to help or help appreciate the Naira. Okay. Let's put the right people. Adebo is a pastor and the best he can do is to pray. It is God that will answer. Leaders should do the right thing. Dragging the Baba to this to this page is a sign of mischief which the freeze is known for. 
He should stop castigating a man that can father him in many ways. This nonsense must stop. But when a child lacks some training, no man can help him from behaving from behaving to time. <laughs> oh my goodness. You see, that is why from the beginning, as a person, I'm not a fan of all those prophecies. You will not see me there. Not that I don't believe in God. But you saw these prophecies, God said, and he told me, you will not catch me there. Hardly because <laughs> you don't know who is who. It is better you have a personal relationship with the person you claim to call God and that he gives, it is going to be clearer. Imagine all those people now. Permit me to step, you know, to just go a little, a little from what we're talking about. We are talking about insecurity and what is causing insecurity. Part of insecurity we have is people who are doing things. Ordinarily, they think that is the right thing to do. Had it been these people, most of these people who are doing this because some of these things are religious. Forget people they tell you, say, you know, be religious. Well, so this, some of them are religious. You see, religious, extrajudicial religious killings. You understand? Happening in some parts. Of a country. I asked some of those people that go around killing people. Why are they doing this? It's because they told them. They did not get that encounter with their so-called God. They did not get it. Because if they had. I'm sure they would have been convinced. That, oh, but this one. They told them. That this is the right thing to do. Okay. With that being said. Let's move forward. Same thing that will be said. If Nigeria can stop being a consuming state. Exactly. But a productive one. Then the economy will turn around. But Dumbo will call him Mr. Talk Talk. Whereas their favorite candidates cannot even give a clue on how to turn the economy. If you think it is easy to run media rounds, why isn't your faith taking rounds? Well, because their brain, <laughs> this person really came for them, are dead. But awake on how to rape Nigeria more, they don't even stand a chance with P2B. Very foolish and selfish. Nigerians, Shebi, one dollar is equal to 710 naira. Boko Haram don't capture Abuja. They kill soldiers here and there. The same old progressive Congress. I swear, if Nigeria them doing that for those clamoring for this same government to rule us, as if Tenobu isn't one of the cabals running this country invisibly, <laughs> may you never live to see 2023. Oh, more. The guy used uh, Ghanish and with uh, with uh, But no, no, no. This is not right. I understand our frustration, but certainly... Coming out to sound offensive, it will not help anybody. Hmm. See, person, when we are saying something reasonable, you are here talking of Obi because he's the one. He's the presidential candidate I was talking about that have actually come out and said, This is what we need to do. And they don't prove and hear to us this particular news article. Well, then say, person, wait, then tell. If they tell you, you either you take the advice or you leave out. The decision to make and as well as the consequences will come and you're going to be it. Okay, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. And until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of it.